What's up, Simonix? Welcome to a new quick win, and today we're talking about the Ionic splash screen. There are actually not a lot of resources on this topic, so I want to uh, highlight a few key elements of the general splash screen and also how you can add an animated splash screen to your Ionic application. So, I prepared a blank new Ionic application and actually I already added the iOS platform because once you add the iOS platform you will get this resources folder in which you can find the standard icon and the standard splash screen. So let's start with the basics. If you want to generate your icon and splash screen for your application in the basic kind of way, simply create a file and for the splash screen it is recommended to put the content right in the middle because it will be generated in a lot of sizes so let me change this to splash.png uh, png of course and then run ionic cordova resources this is the command that is used to generate all the assets for your application you can also find this on github um, if you haven't installed it, perhaps run the installation first, but I think it should work automatically with Ionic. So this simply expects an icon and splash file in the resources folder. These are the dimensions for the files. You can also generate just the splash or just the icon uh, with a flag. But of course, um, where's my editor? We can do it like this. So generated resources, let's check for iOS. Here we go with the splash screen generated in all the different sizes for all the different uh, applications. And once you now run Ionic, Cordova, Build, whatever, iOS and Android, these files will be copied over to your native application. So that is the basic of having a splash screen or also an icon. This splash screen is now just an image and you can find how it actually is displayed, how long inside your config XML. So at the top, you can somewhere find a block that's more related or only related to the splash screen. And you can also dive into the Cordova references. There's actually a lot uh, about the splash screen. Uh, auto hide, delay, um, the fade, the flight duration. So really a lot in the uh, documentation. And we can already see the splash screen value well, uses the standard screen. We have a three second screen delay. Actually, uh, I'm not sure why we got this. Uh, anyway, um, we got a 300 millisecond uh, fade into the real screen that appears after the splash screen. And also we got right in our app module automatically from Ionic in there, the command to hide the splash screen. So we can configure it on the config XML for the duration, uh, for the fade effect, for the, some uh, kind of position as well. And then we can also control it using the Cordova plugin and the Ionic native package to automatically hide the splash screen. So this gives a bit of more control if you perhaps want to show the splash screen always or just once uh, for a specific amount of time, then you get access to it with this. So I will now run the application just to show you the first impression of the general splash screen. All right, and just as a quick addition, if you go into your Xcode project, you can actually see inside the launch screen storyboard file, the splash screen that we just specified. So I've now deployed it to the simulator, which is a bit slow today actually, but anyway, let's open the app and here is the splash screen. You might notice that there's sometimes a little progress spinner right here. Of course, now it's not coming up. Um, you can even, there we go, there's the uh, spinner right here. If you don't want to have this, you can simply define in your config XML as well, show splash screen spinner false, and then after the splash screen, the app enters. So that is the basic standard uh, starting point that most of us are using. Now let's take a look at two examples of how we could make this more dynamic and add a few animations. My first example covers SVG um, files and animating the elements in them. That's a nice and easy way. Um, you could maybe also display a GIF or GIF, whatever you want to call it. Um, but then the size of your application would actually be bigger than with an SVG file. So let's try this out right within our app components because this is the topmost place and in here we can do all kinds of crazy things. And I will just replace this for now. Uh, of course, not with all those numbers. 
So basically, this is a file I created. It is really, really ugly. I'm already sorry, but that was the best thing I could create with Sketch. So the idea is that we want to display this file until, um, well, until the animation is finished. And then we will display the standard router outlet, which contains all the pages and navigation. And therefore, you can, in the beginning, hide the router outlet and later on hide the splash, which I think isn't actually working that great. So perhaps you could even get rid of this. Because the app component is connected with this file, the app component TS, simply set router hidden, uh, router hidden to true in the beginning. So if you now save your application, you won't see uh, the router anymore. You will just see this file. Now what we want to do is as well get access to our view child and we gave it the ID splash. So I manually changed this right in here inside the file. That's just a small thing to do. So that's the splash element reference. And of course, static false and like this. So now we can get into our initialize app. And once we hide the splash screen, um, which you can do, you could even at this point completely disable the splash screen and set the duration to zero if you don't want to see it anymore. So um, maybe let's set everything to zero for this example, um, splash screen. I think we can set this to none, uh, false, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's keep it like this and then move into this. So not only it should be shown anymore at this point, but we want to set a little timeout until we actually set our router hidden to true, uh, to false again, because of course there's an animation taking place. And this animation could now be defined with some simple CSS. So let's imagine this CSS. We want to animate the path and the star. So these values might be different for your SVG, of course. But if you take a look at this, you will see um, that it's called uh, ID group. And the first one had the ID path and the second one has the star. So we want to animate these two elements. The one element will be rotated a bit. We uh, want to fade both of them in. And we are using an animation for three seconds. So. That's important because now you know how long you uh, need to display this SVG file actually. And then you can set after three seconds your uh, splash native element style display to none. So the hidden uh, didn't really work for me in the beginning. I think I just left it there. But this will definitely make sure the SVG file isn't shown anymore behind anything. I also had that case and the router is now not hidden anymore, which means this will be gone and only this will be displayed. So that's the, the main logic in here. Now go ahead once again, run the build for iOS or Android, whatever you prefer. And then we should be able to see our SVG animated for three seconds and then it will be hidden and the standard application will be shown. All right, let's launch our app. I'm actually not sure why the splash screen is still coming up. I think on iOS, it's a caching issue with this splash screen. Uh, so perhaps I might have to remove the application once and then install it again to really see no splash screen at all because uh, you can definitely get rid of the splash screen. But now we should see our glorious <laughs> animation of my <laughs> two elements. So uh, that was already all the magic I had prepared for you. Basically, it's just what we got in the SVG. I had a path, which is this whatever element, and I had a star in this. And the path was moving, the star was only um, appearing with the opacity. But of course, you could imagine that this could be some kind of real animation. I'm not an SVG master, as you can see. So that's why this looks very, very ugly. Anyway, this is a great and super easy way, as you can see, only at your SVG file add some CSS animations and then perform the necessary steps in your app component to show the SVG in the beginning and then uh, show the router outlet. But now let's continue with one last example using Lottie animations. I actually wanted to create another tutorial. Perhaps if you're interested in Lottie animations, I will definitely do one more. Just let me know in the comments. But today we will keep it simple. 
There's actually a Cordova plugin for Lottie splash screen animations. You can install it just like usually adding the Cordova plugin and installing the uh, Ionic native package. Once you've done that, uh, you can continue in your application and go to the app module and just include it as usually in your app module. So that's the first idea here. Now, what you need as well in this case is an animation. And I made it pretty easy by just going to lottiefiles.com and picked a random animation. I think I picked this one. And within this application, I don't know why there's no preview. Perhaps I should just reload the site. And I guess no, my application is gone. Yeah, no, there it is. Um, now you can go into HTML if you want to. These are actually hosted files, so you could also use this URL, but you could also extract the content of this file to a local uh, file in your application. So let's do this. Uh, in the assets folder, create a Lottie JSON and put into all the content of this file. Now we need to tell the Cordova plugin that it should please use this Lottie file, this configuration file to load our animation. And we can do this inside the config XML. And now we're going to basically replace all of the splash screen related entries to something like this. Um, the important part is actually to set the splash screen value to none, which will not show any splash screen, or perhaps if you have caching issues, um, then this might be a problem. And then the interesting part begins here. The animation location is inside your assets folder. So hopefully you pick the name just like I did, but of course, otherwise just use the name you used for that file. Make the animation full screen. That's what I definitely would recommend. And if you want to set a background color. Actually, there are a lot more options. Uh, so you can check out the Cordova plugin Lottie splash screen on GitHub. And once you scroll down the page or no, it was actually here inside the preferences. You see, you could even use the remote location of the file. So you could host it somewhere and easily uh, change your splash screen, uh, cancel on tab, background color, timeout, with hate. Uh, full screen, loop the animation until whatever. So you could loop this animation until your application has set up uh, perhaps some uh, starting items loaded, made some HTTP requests already. And then you can also move on to your app component in which you can now inject the private Lottie splash screen and use hopefully the right package uh, yeah, the right package from NGX. And now uh, let's say our animation, I think it takes about perhaps two and a half seconds. So let's use a timeout once again and then call this Lottie splash screen height. And please do this after 2.5 seconds. Now that's everything you need. And now you can run the uh, build once again. And the plugin will automatically take care of loading your JSON file, displaying it full screen, some background color. And after two and a half seconds, we manually hide the splash screen just because we, at some point, we might want to start the application. But I think you could also just uh, let this run once without hiding it. But normally uh, hiding it after a certain amount of time would be a good idea to not annoy your user. So let's finally check this out. All right, the application loading time on the or on my iOS simulator is actually super slow today. And I even still see my splash screen uh, because of caching and because the device is so slow. But now we also see the nice animation we uh, downloaded, not really created with Lottie. And we also see that it's somehow stopping. This is just because the simulator is really, really terrible today. Uh, in about five or 10 seconds, we will see the actual application. Um, there we go. But we have seen indeed that we can use the Lottie splash screen in combination with the settings we added to our config XML and loaded the animation uh, we got and downloaded. I'm not sure how to create your own animation. That's a different story, but some of these animations are pretty great. Uh, I'm not sure if they're free though. So um, yeah, well, here it is, free animations. Well, in that case, perhaps use them as you want. Anyway, 
This is uh, how you can improve your application startup by first of all generating uh, a general uh, splash screen and of course the icons as well using Cordova resources. Um, applying an SVG as a simple way to animate the splash screen with a few elements that you might uh, change with a CSS animation or if you're fancy use Lottie animations instead of the general Cordova splash screen. These offer really great animations and I'm sure I will use it in one of my future apps. And also if you want to see more about Lottie animations, uh, which I actually find kind of interesting, just let me know below the video and we will soon have a resource on using Lottie with Ionic. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and stay subscribed so you get notified about all the new tutorials, quick wins and other app development and web development videos on this channel. If you want to learn more about Ionic with in-depth courses, a community of like-minded developers so you can learn and build your apps faster, you should definitely check out the Ionic Academy, which is my code school to help you with everything Ionic with a huge library of courses, material, and a supportive Slack channel so we can get your app out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you inside the next video. Have a great day and happy coding. Simon.